Big Tone here, just leaving my apartment, headed down to the Amtrak train station. Excited to head down to Combate 14 in Ventura. Uh, gonna see Froggy Estrada, who actually hails from my, own, my home area code, the 805. Uh, a couple of uh, top atom weights fighting, and uh, Alyssa Garcia and uh, some other great fights on that card as well. So, yeah, just headed down to the train station right now. Got my iced coffee, which is a necessity for anybody aspiring to be a MMA journalist. <laughs> Finally made it, 805 Ventura, uh, five hours on the train. I'm pretty sure the event is right over here. I'm pretty sure that's the Ventura County Fairgrounds. Uh, I'm about to go check it out. This will be kind of cool because I literally just got off the train right here. Uh, but yeah, love taking the train. I was able to get some some work done on my laptop so this is definitely it already got a pretty decent sized line some food like a taco truck cut of corn all kinds of stuff stoked to get in here and see some fights man should be in here shortly
So my camera died for the main event, of course. They didn't really have any plugs anywhere. Uh, I was able to get some of them on my cell phone, but I mean, for the most part, the fight, the main event took place in the opposite corner, so I'm not sure how much it really mattered. Uh, pretty much all the hometown, all the hometown fighters lost, including Froggy Estrada. Uh, so definitely quieted the crowd. It went from quiet to, to mad pretty quick. Um, yeah, he got choked out, or, yeah, rear naked choke in the opposite corner. First time, it was pretty quick, it was pretty quick. Um, 
and uh, yeah I know I got some good footage before that though um, got to talk to Josh Barnett for a little bit really cool guy obviously serving a suspension not sure what's going on with that um, wasn't able to get any post fight interviews it seemed might have been my fault uh, you know not poking my head where it, where it doesn't belong enough I should have been uh, a little more aggressive trying to get into places but uh, yeah so no post fight interviews really uh, besides some comments from Josh should be an article uh, yeah great night of fights though I mean a lot of upsets we had uh, it started off with um, Alyssa Garcia getting armbarred um, by Padilla and then UFC veteran Beal, Chris Beal, uh, got TKO'd by John Castaneda, who was slated to be the uh, uh, the first champion that Combate had. So he, he might get a shot at some kind of title. But yeah, he looked really impressive. I know, I know I got some good footage of that on the camera for you guys. So yeah, pretty much I'm headed home, back on the train. I don't you guys see the train tracks. Back on the train. So yeah, pretty successful night of fights. Still got the venue, venue over there. So I love riding the train, but I've been doing kickboxing lately at uh, the Great Alliance Gym. Um, I must have thrown my, my shoulder out, my left shoulder has been hurt really bad from, I don't know, throwing, throwing jabs, I'm not really sure, but it's just fucking sore, uh, I had to take a long time off due to a car accident, I got rear-ended, some lady was going 80 miles an hour, non-stop, uh, hit me in the back, pretty sure she was on her cell phone or something, uh, but yeah, my back was just messed up for years and I couldn't even, every time I tried to come back to lifting weights or trying to gain, gain strength up, I would, I would re-injure it. Uh, so I guess like I'm kind of happy it's my shoulder and not my back that's hurting. <laughs> but, yeah. Hey what's up guys, thanks for watching this vlog. Uh, if you liked it, hit the subscribe button down there at the bottom and, and give us a thumbs up. Uh, if there's anything that you, any events that you want us to go to, anything you want us to, you know, cover, Leave it down in the comments below. We'd love to hear your feedback. MMA Today has uh, a lot of plans for going to events in the future. So uh, look out for, for more videos and great content from this channel. Thanks, guys.